cancer. For many people, this is a frightening disease, and with good reason. Cancer is still a major cause of death. And chances are that you know someone who had cancer or has it. Cancer affects many people. In Western countries, about one out of three people gets it. And cancer causes one in six deaths worldwide. In many parts of the world, cancer causes more deaths than cardiovascular disease. But what if I told you that the majority of cancers are treatable? And what's more, many cancer cases are preventable. But before we talk about prevention, let me first tell you a bit more about cancer. In the year 2012, there were 14 million people worldwide who got cancer. And it's expected that by the year 2030, these numbers will rise to almost 22 million new cancer cases. And this increase can only be partly explained by the projected increase in size and average age of the world population. In fact, we see that the occurrence of cancer varies widely by country and by continent. So it's clear that something else is influencing these numbers. So who is at risk? Well, unfortunately, we cannot say who will get cancer and who will not. Cancer can affect anyone. However, some people have a higher risk of getting cancer than others. For example, older people have a high risk to get diagnosed with cancer than younger people. Age is the most important risk factor for cancer. Also, some people may have a very high inherited risk of cancer. About 5 to 10 percent of cancer is familial, for instance due to the inheritance of a mutated gene. Obviously, age and genetics are factors that we cannot change. But there are also modifiable risk factors that can have a strong influence on cancer, such as smoking, exposure to viruses, occupational exposure, and nutrition. The food that we eat affects cancer both directly and indirectly. Nutrition directly impacts mechanisms by which cancer cells grow and spread throughout the body. And indirectly, it may influence other processes in the body that may encourage or inhibit the cancer development. Nutrition plays a role in cancer etiology as well as in the progression of cancer. But do we reach people to inform them to make healthy choices in their daily life? How should we inform them of nutritional factors that can influence cancer risk? Communication is very important to reach the general public. The fact that many myths ex exist on foods and supplements in the prevention or treatment of cancer is a good example of a lack of good communication between scientists and patients. Many people do not know that cancer prevention recommendations on nutrition do exist. This is a multidisciplinary course given by a multidisciplinary group with expertise in nutrition, epidemiology, biology, physiology, communication and clinical practice. We work close together to find ways to prevent cancer and increase survival of cancer patients through better nutrition. We hope you will enjoy our course. Cancer is a multifaceted disease, and while medical treatment plays a big role, the right nutrition is also key to defeating cancer.